been a lot of negative press in and around Haringey, Tottenham, and I want to show them the good side. There's a brand new stadium down the road, worth billions and billions of pounds. The talk's all down there, but this is where the real people are. Come and meet us, shake our hands, touch us, feel us. There's no reason why we could all pull together and make this a better place inside these walls and outside, in and around Haringey. The FA Cup has been a phenomenal event for this football club. Every young boy watches the FA Cup and they want to be part of it. The way the BBC told the story and highlighted this football club is unbelievable. I want people to feel and see an insight to this football club. The struggles we've got and now the success we've got. How many times did you watch back the game? <laughs> I've got it recorded, I've got it saved on my laptop. Listen, I've got pictures. To be fair, I've probably watched it about three times now. Do you know what? I only watched it once. I mean, if I played a bit longer, I think I would have been at the TV stuck. But no, it was nice to see myself. My nan, my nan saw me, so she was happy. Honestly, I watched it a lot of times as well. I've gone through my own Snapchat and just been scrolling and get stopped in uni as well. I saw you on the TV, even barber shops. Church, honestly, it's, it's amazing. You wear a Haringey Borough scarf, everyone points at it, everyone asks questions, and it's really lifted the profile of this football club. How does that feel and what does it mean? Well, it's been my 10 year mission, and um, I, I can't explain how it feels. I mean, I've never had a baby, but it's like being pregnant for nine months or 10 years, and then all of a sudden giving birth. It's wonderful, and uh, that's the way I feel. It's the only way I could explain it. Not to take away anything from women, the pain they go through. About 10 years ago, me and Aki, the chairman, put a business plan together. Uh, we expanded the boot sale from just a Sunday to a Friday and a Saturday. With the finances from that, we was able to build this clubhouse. When I came, it was a shack um, with loose floorboards and rats running all over the place. Obviously, there was a shortfall and Aki, the chairman, had to dig deep. Daxi Leah? Yeah, yeah, Daxi. How are you? You all right? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Is it busy today? Yeah, yeah. How do we pay the players? Our budget here has always been very, very small. We've got a few players on contract. So I had an idea of bringing some containers onto the land, renting them out to mainly stall holders. So these containers you can see in the background. Um, first of all, we put them on here to help the people with the boot sale. It helps them. And also, I think every six containers we, we've put out here, it allows us to put one player on contract. Very small profit, and we pay the players very small, small amounts of money as well. But it all helps, and it doesn't put any other financial burden on the football club. So yes. happy to see you. This what is such that? a lovely man. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what I love about you? I haven't you? seen you for a long time. I haven't seen you. know what I love about you, the way you run this market. You're yeah. a professional business. I man. don't run the market. I just keep an eye. And I, I love the way I keep an eye. And, yeah. and I love the way coming along with the football. You're a professional, super, absolutely star. And I'm, I'm right. looking forward to I'm work right. for you. Oh, thank you very much. Work I wish you a happy 2019. And you. And God bless you and your family. And Keep you. Keep doing good. And you. I pray that success may come your way. Yeah? You're such a lovely Thank man. You. So Give are you. Hug, man. I miss Give you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Keep on selling. All right? What are you doing the container, man? Give me a space. In one you want minute. a container? Okay. Give me a space yeah, that's what the hugs are about. It was a container. <laughs> I will try and get you one. As soon as one becomes available, okay? I promise Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you make my day. <laughs> Ten years ago when I came to this club, um, there was no barriers, there was no concrete walk around, and there certainly wasn't an AstroTurf. It used to be uh, a grass pitch and uh, it used to flood for two to three months of the year. I can't imagine Pozzuccino brushing the uh, 
uh, 3G pitch or even blowing the leaves off of, of the pitch in the stand. We live in two different worlds, me and him, but it's only work a mile apart. <laughs> Every uh, couple of weeks we have um, a typical Cypriot breakfast. It's a good start before a, um, a game. The manager, Mr. Tom Loizu, can't be without his Luganigo and Halloumi. He is very, very fussy about his breakfast. In fact, he's fussy about everything. Gaffer said 11 o'clock. Yeah. Excuse me, it's not me. Yeah? Talk to your manager because I made him a coffee, right? Yeah. And he complains about it and we had to do it three times. What, three coffees? Yet to satisfy him. Tommy mm -hmm. has to have a special coffee. It has to be done a certain way. No, if they cut me, well, you said I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Look at that, how can we not win after a breakfast like that? The only uh, bad thing about it is you can't feed the, the players this sort of breakfast before a game. I've been at this football club for 10 years. He has forgot to mention that he cleans the tiles. <laughs> The gaffer, he never fails to make us laugh. But when when we're we're down to business, he's he's he's, he's top draw. Yeah, Tom's a great manager, to be fair, because um, Tom communicates with every single player individually better than most other managers do. Run the cheese, DJ, DJ, DJ. Clubs that could do. Anything nobody else wants to do, I do. <laughs> Put it that way. <laughs> the official team sheet, which has to go in at 45 minutes before the kickoff. I came in the 1950s when I was a kid. I was only a, obviously just a kid. I didn't do any official admin network then, but uh, you know, in the last 20 or 25 years, I've got sucked in. I'm thinking, because we can't not hear in the background, 1950s music compared to now. No. Slightly different. I mean, where did, did, you ever, did, did you ever tap sometimes when you listen to the music? Or I'll, I'll pass on that. Uh, I'll pass on that one. My musical tastes tend to run in strange directions like Bark and Handel. So <laughs> you can imagine what I think of that. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to see running out to something really triumphalist like Also Sparks Avathustra. Yeah, that would be my choice if I chose the music. We do call ourselves the Bell End, which is quite ironic. The reason we do that is because um, we've got a cowbell that we ring. There's nothing fancy or you know artistic about why we call ourselves that. But I think we've got a. I see from your window, it's all intended. Uh, <laughs> as well, right? The other thing we try and do is. Um... Who's that? Said <laughs> I. <laughs> we want to create a positive environment, so we don't like negativity. We don't go the opposition. Um, so today, Burgess Hill obviously travelled 70 odd miles. You know, last thing we want to do is for them to come and feel that, you know, they're getting abused or, you know, aren't made to feel welcome by us. Programs only approach. I mean, the atmosphere has totally changed. I mean, five or six years ago, um, you know, to be blunt, the place was more like a morgue than a stadium where anything entertaining was going on. And if we had a gate of 50, that would have been wonderful. And a good chunk of them would have been guaranteed to be away supporters. So. The turnaround is absolutely astonishing. Oh! Keep a punch! Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, that's it. <laughs> when I used to come down the borough in the 80s, a few of my friends used to play for the borough back then, it was, well, for a start, the pitch was just, it wasn't a pitch, it was just mud. Brown, nor green. It really is the community club. When I come to the last game, I see some people that I know from Tottenham, some Crouch M people coming down, some Wood Green people, Muswell Hill friends. We're all one in this borough.
Boom. The borough can, does so much for the community. I know some old people that don't have a conversation with people for weeks. I know a couple of old people that come down to the borough and have a chat. Listen, when, when you haven't got like your pub or your, your youth club, what else is there going to be? Where are people going to congregate? If, without places like this, you might as well just take the, you might just get the, put your hand in the chest of the community and just take the heart and throw it out. You need places like this, man. Places like this make the community. I mean, and it should be back to more. Come down the borough. You know where we are. We're not just a car boot sale, you know. Come down the borough. Proper football. And after the game, if you see a broom, help sweep up. Sweet. Mark Harvey. Oh, Mark Harvey. Oh, he came from Enfield Town. He's worth £10 million. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right now, I'm not really too happy with the fans. Not too happy because I ain't got a song. <laughs> <laughs>